Hi again, it's Tony, the Masterful Engineer from the Engineer Team Network. And today's um, boiler is the Valiant Turbo Max Plus 242E. And just a public warning, only gas safe engineers are allowed to be working on these type of appliances. So that's end of public warning. So today we're going to look at some faults on this particular boiler. So you can see the front panel here. These are the controls. We're just going to lower down this panel and have a look behind. So, one of the first faults, uh, common faults in this boiler, is this part here. This is the diverter valve. They can go faulty. This either stick in hot water mode or central heating mode. The other problem what you can get is the gas valve. This is the gas valve here. This particular one is a sit gas valve. You also get a Honeywell type gas valve on the same appliance. So there's two types of gas valves on this boiler. We also can have a pump problem. There's a pump there. Also on this boiler, you can have a hot water problem. This is the flow sensor just behind here at the end of the screwdriver here. That's it there. And that can stop you from getting hot water. Also, you've got the hot water heat exchanger. Just there at the back is a hot water heat exchanger. Further up the boiler, you've got the spark electrode assembly. They can also go faulty from time to time. This is the burner here. Also, you've got the thermistors, the NTC thermistor there. Come on this boiler is sometimes it can leak from this part here. This is O-ring seal under that clip. They can leak down like this. Also, you've got the fan unit. This is the fan unit here. Also, there's two types of fans on this boiler. There's a square outlet fan and a round outlet fan. Awful confusing, but that's the truth. Also, you've got another NTC sensor here, just there at the back. And finally, you've got the air pressure switch, which is tucked at the back there. This is the air pressure switch. They can also go faulty as well. So, there you have it. This is the Valiant Turbo Max Plus. So if you've got any problems with your Turbo Max boiler or any other boiler, just click on the link below and then you get through to our website. You can get one of our local engineers out. Also, you can download our app from the Google Play Store or the App Store. So thank you for watching. We hope to speak to you soon. Thank you.